it's Raya. And it's Allie. And welcome to the Valentine's Day edition of Straight Out of Sixth Grade News. Enjoy! Hey, babe. Hi. Are you mad at me? Do you know something? What would I know? It's not like you tell me things anyways. What are you talking about? You're the one that cheated on me with Hillary. You know what? It's over. Fine. You are nothing to me anyways. <sighs> I got your favorite pencils. Can we take you back? Of course. Wait, are these black Ticona Roga pencils? I only use that yellow one. You know that. You cancel. You're so done. They're black just like your heart. <sighs> Okay, bye! OMG! Guess what? OMG what? We got 136 likes. Wow! I know. Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm going to ask for out tomorrow. I can't do it. So like. Allie, wait! I love you. I love you too. Hello, I'm your commentator, Aiden. I'm your commentator, Colton. We're going to be commentating on this wrestling match today. We got Brayden here, too. What up? They're so throwing some vicious punches here. Oh, what a punch by Aiden there. Oh, kick by Aiden. Throws Aiden Colton just holding there. the ring. Brayden and Aiden standing up here. Aiden, looking for the throw on b raid knocks him down. Throws his head to the ground. Colt not staring down Aiden here. And Aiden staring down Brayden. Oh. Oh. Aiden throws Colton across. Oh, Beard. With a spear like thing. Oh, Brayden and Aiden going at it here. Brayden. Oh, no. This, he's not in a good position here. Oh, oh what a save. Man. Oh, Colton and Aiden locking eyes clothesline. Oh. Brayden holding Aiden. Suplex! Oh my god! Dang. Oh, Brayden. Oh. Brayden, what's, what is he doing here? Colton, he's got Brayden. Throws him. Clothesline knocking Brayden to the ground. Colton dominating here right now. Colton jumped up. Oh, drop Dang. kick. Oh my. Man. Oh my. Aiden finally getting up from that vicious suplex. Oh god, that's gotta hurry. Throws Colton off his I I could have sworn Colton was gonna win, but... Not looking too promising right now. Oh, Aiden, oh, Aiden, Aiden what is he doing what here? What is he doing here? Oh, what was oh, that? What was I think he kind of failed there. Oh, oh, Colton breaking up a pin, though. The referee? The referee not even looking, though. Referee's just... Oh, like, but Aiden man. Regal got a vicious leg bar on Brayden Fultz here. That's oh, and another save by Colton. Oh, the ref going for cover. Oh, Barely kicks out there. Oh, oh throws Aiden to the ground. Down. Oh, oh mm. All three of these competitors are competitors are so good. Go I don't know suplex. who's gonna oh. win. Oh my gosh, suplex! No nope. suplex, counter by it. Aiden. All three of these guys, are, they're just so oh, good. They're double teaming. Oh, Colton double now. team, double team. Oh, Brain getting hit by Aiden. Oh, Aiden trips Colton there. He was looking for a oh, hit on Brain. Oh, to Colton. Colton in the corner here. Punch! Knocking Colton down, but here comes Aiden. Here he comes. Into the corner! 
Corner. Oh, kick. kick. Knee. Bulldog. Oh, my gosh. By this Aiden is Regal. Aiden oh, dominating the ring right now. Aiden mocking the other competitors. Getting a little cocky there. I don't think that's the best strategy in this situation. Boot drop. Oh, boot drop. Dang. Aiden. Aiden Colton. Spear. Oh, Colton's got Aiden down. He's going for the cover on Aiden. Oh, Broken save. up by B-Raid. B-Raid was the underdog oh, in this competition. Of course, Kick. not being in AWE for very long. Oh, Braden going after Colton. Oh, oh what a hit. Aiden. Oh, oh face buster. Oh. Oh. Clothesline to Colton. Aiden Regal. I really think Aiden's going to win here. Aiden's been so good so far. Oh, b raid with the counter. Oh, oh, oh what a punch to Aiden. to Aiden. I mean, from Aiden. Ah. Uh, I'm not oh. doing good today. Oh, Aiden and Colton locking up. Oh, what a kick. That's got to hurt ass. That hurts my nose sitting over here. Crossbody! Cross oh, my gosh. Aiden Regal fighting with the referee here. What is he talking about? Oh, what? he falls <laughs> over there. Elbow oh, drop! drop. Ah, that's got to hurt right in the arm of Brayden. Oh, Colton going oh. for the steal step here. Oh, kick by Aiden. Aiden really been dominating this match. Yeah. Oh, throw. Colton. Cool. Swing blade! Yeah, actually. Swing blade! Aiden going for the cover to win the match! One, two, kick out! That was a pathetic performance by Brayden. Didn't even try to stop it. Just let it happen. If Brayden had lost the match there, that would have been sad. Oh, but Brayden... Brayden, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, no. Suplex! Oh my god, that's gotta hurt, Colton. Colton's out of the picture for a while. Kick. A CDT! Aiden's gonna win. Aiden's gonna win right here. Aiden's gonna win right here. He might be blowing oh. his chance. What is he? He's not going for the pin yet, though. He's letting Colton get up. What is he doing? Oh, oh roll, roll up! up. Roll up on Echo! One, One, two... Kick out! Oh my gosh! No! How? How has this happened? Aiden cannot believe it. Be but right. Brayden's up! Oh! oh stunner. stunner! When you can't win with your own moveset, set, you gotta go with someone else's. Yeah, and he shows Stone Cold Steve Austin right there. Oh! He went for the face buster and Colt encountered! Don't forget to tune in next week for this round two and the finale. We'll see you next week. Hey guys, and welcome to the Chubby Cupid Show. Today, we will have Aiden, Colton, Soraya, Tyler, and Jackson facing off to see if we can fit as many candy hearts in their mouths as possible. We will be... We'll just cut that out. Okay, so once you're finished, once you're finished. Okay, so now nobody got eliminated from this run. We are gonna add five candy hearts. Oh, oh, crap. Okay, so now they have 15. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna add. So now you guys are able to spit these out. Okay. Okay. So now what's gonna happen is we're gonna keep adding five. Uh huh. Until somebody gets eliminated. Okay. Hey, no, I'm so Okay. 
Why the faster you go, the least, the small, the smaller amount of time that you have to hold in. I can fit all 20 in one side of my cheek. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, you guys ready? Do you all have five more? Do you all have five more? Don't use your cheeks, because I, I can fit all 20. you don't use your cheeks? Okay, guys. Okay, so now they have 15. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna add. So now you guys are able to spit these out. Okay. Okay. So now what's gonna happen is we're gonna keep adding five until somebody gets eliminated. Okay. Hey, no, so. <laughs> okay. The faster you go, the least, the small, the smaller amount of time that you have to hold in. <laughs> okay, guys. You guys ready? Do you all have five more? Do you all have five more? Don't use your cheeks, because I can fit all you don't use your cheeks? Okay, guys. Okay, we've added another five. Did you all complete? Okay, so now Soraya has been the only one that's been eliminated. Okay, so now nobody has been eliminated. Okay, so Aiden has been eliminated. Aiden and Soraya have been eliminated. Only three remain. Jackson, Colton, and Tyler are the I'm only really participants here. remaining. We, since we have had so many rounds at this point, we are adding six candy hearts. Okay, has everybody gotten their six? Three, two, one, go! Is that it? Okay, and we have established a new rule. You are not able to use your cheeks. Have you used your cheeks? <laughs> Tyler. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start a new round with seven. Wait. Is he done? Okay, we are going to add a new round with seven candy hearts. So the Cuban, the Chubby Cupid challenge is over. The only participant remaining was Jackson. Colton and Tyler were eliminated at the very last second. We didn't get to get it on video, but they spit out their candy hearts right at the last second. Oh yeah. So that means that Jackson has been made our Chubby Cupid challenge. So now his prize is he's able. <laughs> okay. Oh God! His his prize is to be the king of candy hearts. He is the king of candy hearts, and he also gets eat it. No, eat fifteen it. candy hearts as a prize. No, 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 no more candy hearts. <laughs> <laughs> no more candy hearts. <laughs> okay, so guys, thank you for it's watching. Like that was the cute. That was the chubby cupid challenge. The one who does. I hope you liked your facts and crisis for candy hearts. I attend to appease critics. We found one back to test it in its test kitchen in time for this year's round and adjusted its formula. This batch will be a little softer and chillier, says Jeff Green, the company's vice president of research and development. Amazing fact, more than 8 million times 13 million pounds. And the little hearts are sold in six weeks, leading up to Valentine's Day. Did you know conversation hearts? Written in the eighteen sixties by the brother of Nathan Ballinger. These first hearts had printed paper notes tucked inside. Also, one of America's oldest candy companies, Manco, was founded in eighteen twenty seven in Boston by Englishman Oliver Chase, who got the business off 
a good to a good start by inventing the device that cut candy lounges and polarized sugar. Hello everybody and happy Valentine's Day. I'll be telling you about candy heart history and facts. <laughs> And happy Valentine's Day! Today we will be doing the Candy Heart Challenge. The Candy Heart Challenge is where you dump three candy hearts into your hands. Then, whatever each phrase is, you have to find one person to send each phrase to. So you have three candy hearts, three people, one phrase for each person. Then, if you complete each challenge, then you'll get to eat that candy heart. Will you be the next person to take on the Candy Heart Challenge? Our first challenger is Raya. I have the three candy hearts here. Let's see what they say. You and me. Okay, <laughs> great. Um, call me and adorbs. <laughs> okay, so now we'll be going out and find three random people to say these to. All right, let's see what they say. I hope. Wink, wink, and LOL. Okay, so take these. All right, now we have Julia. And let's see what Julia say. Smile, text me, adorbs. All right, we'll be going out soon, and let's see what other people think about it. Call me <laughs> adorbs. LOL, I hope. You're Let's see what his say. I hope and love you. All right, let's see how he does. Let's see what her say. Crushing, love you. All right, let's see how now she does. Jackson. Jackson. Let's see what his say. Hello. Bling and sweet. Now we All have right. Levi with us. Got awesome and I hope. Okay, and now we have Brayden with us. Let's see what his say. Text me and so fun. All right, I wonder how now we have Aiden with us. Let's see what his say. Text me, hugs and kisses. <laughs> I wonder how he'll be. Our last person, we have Torin. Let's see what his say. So fine. And puppy love. Oh, yeah. Let's see. 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 People all over the world enjoy getting their fortune told. Whether it's in cookies or set by a fortune teller, we wonder if our fortune will come true. In this segment, I will open up homemade paper hearts each day of the week you are watching this video. For example, if you are watching this on a Friday, your fortune will be in the heart marked Friday. Let's begin. If you are watching this on a Sunday, your fortune is you will start a good book to get today, whether you like to read or not. If you are watching this on a Monday, your fortune is someone ahead of you in line will pay for your dinner. That's nice. Tuesday, the fortune you seek is in another paper heart. Dun, dun, dun. Wednesday, soon you will make an important decision. Thursday, you will be sharing great news with your friends and family. Friday, as long as you don't sign up for anything new, you will be fine. And Saturday, you will get a new puppy today.
Welcome to Valentine's Day Stereotypes. And here's people who don't care it's Valentine's Day. Hey, hey wake up. You know what day it is? Yeah, it's February 14th. Yeah, but it's also Valentine's Day. So, I don't care. Here's a guy trying to fake he's sick to get out of Valentine's Day. Sorry, I'm oh, sick again. Yes, I can't. Go. Cough. Cough. Why are you always sick all these days? Well, I don't know. Oh. Man, you sound really sick. I should go get some of that medicine. Now this is a sad, lonely girl on Valentine's Day. Who does she get? Everything in that movie. Always mad at the movie. I'm so lonely on Valentine's Day. I don't care. I know you don't care, but I care. And he has a game on Valentine's Day. Yes! Got a new high score. Oh my gosh, I'm so Guess good at this game. Is. Don't even bother me. Okay. Thanks for watching. That's our Valentine's Day stereo. <laughs>